Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to do a, a quick how-to to get the four function switches acting like one four position switch on the FreeSky X14S running Ethos. I have it set up at the moment. The function switches on this radio don't act in the same way that you might expect if you're coming from Radio Master uh, radios that have sort of five or six position switches there, uh, which is virtually one switch just with four, five, six different positions. This is actually four separate function switches and they can't be used directly as a source in a mix like you can with the Radio Master radios. Uh, you kind of have to uh, assign these as actions or assign them to a variable and then use that variable in a mix. But I'll show you how to do that. Now these function switches are highly configurable. Uh, so the first step is to uh, define the which particular behavior you want for these switches. So if we go into the model menu, edit model and scroll down to the bottom. There we get to choose uh, which behavior we want for the function switches. At the moment that's on four position. You can have four position with off, two by two position, four by two position and momentary. Uh, and we'll look at those things in other videos. But let's just go with the straight four position switch. With Edge TX and Radio Master, you can just select this switch as a source, but you can't on this radio, as I said. So for source, we're just going to select special and maximum, and that just gives us a maximum value to work with. And what I might do now is assign it to a channel straight away. So uh, let's put it on, what have I got it on? I've got it on the elevator channel in my receiver there. So uh, that will just let us see what we're doing as we do it. All right, so we go to actions, add a new action, active condition. Now we choose the function switches. So that has chosen FS1. Action is gonna affect the weight and the weight will leave it at 100. All right, back out of there, add a new action, active condition, FS2. Go and change the weight. Let's put it down to say, 50 and we just keep going like that. So add a new action activated by FS3, put the weight down to negative 50. And finally, Add the FS4 position, and that will be minus 100. So there you can see we have uh, assigned a weight for each of these different switches, FS1, 2, 3, 4. And you can see on the little screen here, it shows you the output. And on the survey, you can see it actually having an effect on that is channel two. So you could use that for panning a camera, dropping flaps down, dropping landing gear, selecting modes in iNav or RGPilot or something like that. So that's the basic setup for a four position switch using the function switches. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time.